This is the 2018 Math Kangaroo Levels 7-8, problem number 29. Viola is practicing the long jump. The average distance she has jumped so far today is 3.8 meters. On her next jump, she jumped 3.99 meters, and her average increased to 3.81 meters. What is the distance she must jump on her next jump to increase her average to 3.82 meters? This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. To start, let's let n be equal to the number of jumps she has done so far. So as it states in the problem, the average distance she has jumped so far today is 3.8 meters. And on her next jump, she jumps 3.99 meters, and her average is now 3.81 meters. So, I have written 3.8n plus the jump that is 3.99. And again, n is the number of jumps she's done so far. Over n plus 1 must be equal to her new average of 3.81. We can cross multiply to get that 3.8n plus 3.99 is equal to 3.81n plus 3.81. We can further simplify to get 0.81 is equal to 0.01n and then we can divide to get that n is equal to 18. So far, not including the 3.99 jump, she has done 18 jumps. We can use this information in the next step. We want to know what her next jump must be so that her average increases to 3.82. In order to do this, we take the total distance she has done so far, which would be 3.81 times 19, because her average for her 19 jumps, again, she had 18, but then we must add 1 because of the 3.99 jump. So now she has done a total of 19 jumps. 19 times her average of 3.81 would be the total distance that she has jumped so far, plus this unknown x, which we're trying to find, over 20, which would be the total number of jumps she would be doing with this one extra jump, this average we want to be equal to 3.82. Again, we can cross multiply getting that 3.81 times 19 plus x is equal to 3.82 times 20. Now, because we're not allowed to use calculators on the test, I'm going to write 3.82 as being 3.81 plus 0 0.01, so it's easier to simplify. We can distribute the 20, as you can see below, as being 3.81 times 20 plus 0 0.01 times 20. And it's just easier that way because on this side we have the 3.81 times 19. So if we subtract 3.81 times 19 from both sides, we would get that x is equal to 3.1 plus 0 0.2 would mean that x is equal to 4.01. This is equal to answer choice C. Thank you so much for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe.